Kristen Burt for LifeScript.com. Registered dietitian and nutrition expert Joy Bauer is taking on a new challenge. She's created recipes and nutrition tips for patients with a gastrointestinal condition called EPI or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Joy is joining us now to not only tell us what EPI actually is, but also to give us ways that patients can manage their condition. Welcome, Joy. Hi, Kristen. Glad you could join us today. Now let's start with the basics. What is EPI? Sure, so EPI is something that a lot of people don't know about, and um, here's, here's how I could easily describe it. When we eat food, let's say that we eat a sandwich. The sandwich is comprised of protein, carbohydrates, and fat. And in order to break down that sandwich so that we can digest it and absorb all of the good stuff, it requires enzymes that are produced by the pancreas. But when somebody has EPI, they're not producing enough of those enzymes. So they end up having compromised digestion and then compromised absorption as well. And what are the symptoms of EPI? Unfortunately, the, the symptoms are pretty lousy. You have chronic diarrhea, you have um, bloating, gas, and abdominal discomfort. What are some tips for dealing with EPI? The good news is that if you know about EPI and you have it and you speak with your physician and you're diagnosed, there's a lot that you can do to manage the symptoms. For example, you can take replacement enzymes that your physician would prescribe for you. And there are things, of course, that you could do on the food front as well that can help you to um, you know, control, again, the diarrhea, the bloating, the abdominal discomfort, and enhance the absorption of what you're eating. What types of foods are helpful for the condition? So when it comes to helping to manage um, the symptoms for the condition, you want to do a few things. The first is um, you want to eat smaller, more frequent meals versus eating a whole lot at one sitting. Again, because you don't want to tax your digestive system. And because you have compromised absorption, a little bit at a time is going to be much more beneficial. The second thing is to stay hydrated. You want to drink as much water as you can because you want to help to keep things moving along. And the third thing I would say, um, and possibly most importantly, is to keep track of exactly what you're eating. So I would jot down the time that you're eating, the foods that you're eating, and the amounts that you're eating for a couple of days and note how you feel. So what's happening? Because then you get to sort of connect the dots. Are there certain foods that are, are sitting better for you or are easier to digest than other things? And the other, the other nice part about journaling is when you go to the physician, you have everything down in black and white. You don't have to, you know, feel frazzled that you can't remember something that you ate two days ago. You know, when did you have a bathroom bout? You know, was it five hours ago? Was it, you know, a day and a half ago? It's all right there in black and white. And then your doctor, together with you, can evaluate what's going on and how to best treat it. So, Joy, can you tell us who is at risk for EPI? It's all age groups, it's men, it's women, but it's people who have a primary condition with their pancreas because EPI is, it's, it's um, a condition of the pancreas. These days, GI conditions are very common. So what is our gut trying to tell us about our health? that we need to eat really good food, high quality food. We need to exercise and we need to make appointments with our physician, you know? I, um, I always get nervous when people self-diagnose themselves or, you know, sadly, sometimes people just think it's everyday wear and tear and this is the way that they have to live, but they don't. You know, there's great treatment out there, but it, it's about, you know, being your own advocate, um, listening to your body and paying attention and then going to your physician and having an open and honest conversation. And where can people go for more information? So the website with everything you need to know about EPI is um, identifyepi.com. Joy, thank you so much for joining us today at LifeScript. We appreciate your insight. Thanks to you, Kristen. 